Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick Sapinero here from the Divi Project. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more video updates recently, so I'm going to start doing more video updates. <laughs> I'm going to do a monthly roundup video that just goes over everything that's been accomplished in the month, all the events, etc. And I know that some of the Divi crew are actually going to be doing their own videos as well, so be on the lookout for a lot more videos coming out of the Divi community. So, let's jump right into the month of June 2019. Very, very busy month for us. Very exciting stuff happened. The, the beginning of the month, we got Omni Analytics to do a deep dive overview of all five masternode entry points. Um, so Omni Analytics is a data analysis company that has been analyzing primarily masternode coins, um, but I know that they're gonna expand and start analyzing a bunch of other niches within the cryptocurrency space. Uh, but for now, they're doing masternodes and we ranked really well against uh, most of their weighting methodologies. And actually, against their Trust OAG rating, we ranked in the top three against only Dash and Pivx. So that was extremely exciting news. And it shows that Divi's fundamentals are very strong, but it also shows that there are places we can improve, right? And um, so that's probably the most exciting part of it to me is getting a really uh, succinct overview of where we can improve how we can iterate and make the product better for the community and crypto as a whole. Uh, Swift blockchain enabled withdrawals and deposits after a pretty long uh, trail of events. I don't know if you guys followed that, but we were, we were listed on Swift uh, probably three or four months ago, maybe longer even. And um, Swift is basically a swap service that allows you to trade cryptocurrencies against 130 or so other Cryptocurrency is kind of like a shapeshift um, or crypto wolf solution. And, um, but when we got listed, we didn't, they didn't enable withdrawals and deposits, which was kind of strange, but we got that all worked out. So now you can go use Swift and, and trade Divi against 130 other coins. Pretty cool stuff. Um, probably one of the most exciting things this month was the fact that we were listed on Bitru. Uh, Bitru is a cryptocurrency exchange that's doing probably 50 to $60 million in volume per day um, they have a ton of amazing assets listed on their exchange and they seem to have a really strong xrp community which is why we actually uh, decided to to list uh, both bitcoin and xrp pairs against divi on that exchange and actually i don't know how much you guys follow things but for those that don't follow super close we actually met with bitrue's leadership in new york during consensus week and after speaking with them for probably a month leading up to that. And we can thank the community member Bogdan for his introduction to the Bitru team. Um, Bogdan has a great website called CryptoAdventure.com. You should definitely check that out. Um, but Bitru, the reason that we ended up pursuing a listing with them, it was multifaceted. Uh, first of all, their leadership is extremely accessible and worked with us directly the whole time um, from start to finish throughout the whole listing process. Um, they have a, a really strong background in security and um, we, we wanted to make sure that if anything did happen on their exchange that our users would be covered, um, insured, um, or have some backup plan because we didn't want to experience another Cryptopia situation where people lose their coins. Um, of course, we can say not your keys, not your coins all day, but it doesn't change the fact that it just freaking sucks when you lose your money. Um, so anything we can do to avoid that, we're going to pursue. And actually, funnily enough, I guess it's not that funny, but Bitru got hacked the other night. Um, seems like, well, the story from them is that basically 90 accounts were compromised on their exchange and those 90 accounts were somehow used to um, expose the hot wallet that Bitru uses to adjudicate withdrawals and things like that um, within their within their system. So <laughs> they had to shut down the exchange for a little bit while they you know of course froze everything they contacted I think it was like Huobi, um, Binance, and there was one other exchange I don't remember off the top of my head and Hobie and Binance immediately froze the funds. Um, and of course, Bitru has insurance on all the funds. So no one was really affected in terms of losing money. I think uh, maybe deposits and withdrawals are still 
turned off at least the last time I checked, maybe they're back on by now, but they handled the situation so well. Um, and CZ from Binance even tweeted about it. And it looks like these exchanges are starting to really work together. Um, because when hacks like this happen, the only people that really can help are the exchanges. So let's talk about development. Last week, we announced that a new lead blockchain developer would be coming on board with us. And we were very excited until we learned that that individual was actually just leveraging our offer with him to get a better position and salary at his current company. So that was pretty disappointing, but on the bright side, we do have three or four really strong blockchain candidates that seem to fit the bill, maybe even more so in certain cases, and we'll be onboarding someone new within the next week or two. Uh, and we may even onboard more than one person. We're still deliberating and seeing what makes most sense for the project. Um, also, we just onboarded another full stack developer named Matt. Matt is going to be coming on and helping us with some of the Raspberry Pi stuff. He's got a background in software and hardware development, uh, and he's got some great ideas for how the Raspberry Pi, Mochi, and staking can, can be improved. So look out for more updates on that in the very, very near future. Um, this week, I also had a really great conversation with Casper and Matthias, who are, well, Casper's our new full stack developer who's going to be working on mobile wallet. And Matthias is the designer who created those incredible screenshots that you saw um, in one of the previous blogs that, that will improve the, the desk, or the, sorry, the mobile wallet exponentially. I'm really excited to see um, all of this in practice and get to work on it. So the Divi desktop wallet is going to undergo a mandatory update. Um, we're in testing right now. I don't know exactly what day that's going to come out. I'll give you a more hard date as soon as the testing seems to be uh, concluded. But there are three features that you need to be on the lookout for in this update. First of all, the Mochi monitoring service. So you'll have the option to enter an email address. And if your Mochi goes down, you'll get an email letting you know, and then you can go on and and boot it back up. In the future, that service will be extended to um, have automatic reboots and it will improve both masternodes and staking in the future as well. Um, so exciting stuff and necessary stuff, uh, if you ask me. So long time coming for that feature. Very, very exciting. Uh, the second feature you need to be on the lookout for is the blockchain primer. So the blockchain primer provides basically a bootstrap file um, that negates the necessity to sync the entire blockchain from the last time you access the wallet. So we've all been there where we haven't opened our Divi desktop wallet for a little while and we have to sync and it takes like 30 minutes or an hour, however long, depending on your connection, it could take a lot longer than you'd like to wait. So by implementing a blockchain primer, basically a snapshot is taken of a full node um, at random times. Not, we're never going to tell you the inter interval, and it'll, it'll never be trackable um, for security purposes, of course. Um, so anytime that you log on to your Divi desktop wallet, you'll just get a pretty much fully synced blockchain. Hopefully, we'll, we'll uh, lower the sync times on average down to about three to five minutes. And you can turn this feature off if you prefer to sync from the beginning of time or whatever. Um, that's totally your MO. The third, uh, sorry, the third feature that you need to be on the lookout for is another one that I think has been a long time coming, which is two-factor authentication. So 2FA is going to be available. You'll be able to um, set that up with either Authy or Google Authenticator. We're testing it right now. It works really so well. That's pretty much it development-wise. We did have some mentions in crypto media and mainstream media this month. So first of all, we were on Steve McGarry's video podcast. That's the Hack Crypto podcast. He did a deep dive into the mobile wallet, kind of went over the Mmochi, which is the masternode, mobile masternode one-click cloud installer, and some of the other features that are going to be available in the desktop wallet on launch. And Steve's a great guy. Jason Appleton, a.k.a. Crypto Crow, also did a quick mention of Divi in his latest masternode video. Also a great guy. I've met both Jason and Steve in person uh, did various conferences and they're both really integrity guys and very, very pleased to have them aware of Divi project. 
Uh, Masternode Buzz, of course, mentioned us multiple times on their blog. We're premium backers on Masternode Buzz, so they're always very generous in you know sharing our updates and um, giving their community an overview of, of what Divi is. I think they do like a monthly roundup on us as well. Um, but we also appeared on their top performing Masternode list thing the, the week of June 14th. So that's always exciting to see Divi on that list. My article um, appeared on Thrive Global this Month. Thrive Global is Ariana Huffington's latest project, um, so it's you know it's it's news media, but I actually had the opportunity to speak with one of their writers about diversity in blockchain, which is of course one of the most important things to me as a person of color in this industry, one of the few. And um, if you haven't checked out that article, you can find it in the description below. We also appeared on Bad Crypto a couple of times. I think the most recent was uh, the Rand Nooner podcast episode, and we're mentioned somewhere in the beginning of that episode. Bad Crypto guys are always very, very generous in uh, incorporating Divi into their episodes and um, always stoked to hear that. Finally, the last thing I want to announce is a partnership with NodeForge, which is a Masternode hosting company. I met them at the Cryptos and Tokens meetup in Irvine this month. And if you didn't catch my presentation at Cryptos and Tokens, I'll also link that in the description below. But NodeForge is a Masternode hosting company, as I mentioned. They have a lot of the same vision that Divi does as far as making Masternodes accessible to everyone, creating a supplemental income with crypto, and deploying nodes at the click of a button that can be tracked easily from an administrative panel. So they're in beta right now. You can check out their website in the description below and give it a shot. Uh, I don't think Divi's on there just yet, but it will be, and we're very excited to be working with them. That's it for this month in review. I hope that this was informative for you guys. If there's anything I can do to improve these videos, please let me know in the comments below or just leave your thoughts there. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our page. Join us on Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, all social media. All of those links and all of the links to all of the information that I discussed in this video will be in the description below. And I will see you guys next month.